It's always nice to get away. Living in Denver, it can get really busy and hard, and sometimes it's nice to just go out for a weekend and just roam freely. One of my friends told me about their visit to Sterling, Colorado, so we just decided to head up. So the first thing we did when we got into town is we went to the Crest Motel and checked in, and it was just like a super homey atmosphere, and it was so nice to have that as a home base. After we got checked in, we decided that we wanted to grab a bite to eat. We headed down to the Parts and Labor Brewery, which had incredible food. We sampled some of the brews and they were very good. Mm -hmm. The next morning we got up early and we headed down to North Sterling State Park to enjoy some bird watching together. Yeah, and it was really cool at the visitor center. They had a book and a backpack and binoculars you could check out. And it really was a great resource to, to find the different kind of species out there. The next thing we did at North Sterling State Park was we went and got a paddle boat and it was just really cool to, and relaxing to be on that water. After we finished paddle boating, we ran into a park ranger who told us about that evening they were having a pontoon boat ride experience on the reservoir. Yeah, and it was really cool. It, they provided drinks and uh, food as well as seeing the sunset from the water like that was just so amazing and they had trivia. It was such a full day, that first one, that we decided to sleep in a little bit and then head downtown Sterling and we had such a great breakfast experience at Simpkins Parlor. Walking into Simpkins Parlor is like taking a step back in time. You could just feel that vibe of Old Town Sterling and it brought it to the modern era and it was really cool to see the history on the walls. After our delicious breakfast, we walked right across the street to the courthouse. Yeah, and it was really cool to see like the historic building of Logan County, like their courthouse. It was really awesome and we got to go inside of it and it was just as beautiful inside as it was outside. So after the courthouse, we went outside and there was a little popcorn stand out there, Clarence's Corner, and they had delicious popcorn. It was really cool to see something like that. As we enjoyed our popcorn, we walked downtown and we were drawn into a shop by the smell. We entered the High Plains Spice Shop and we really enjoyed looking at all of what they had to offer. Our next stop was Sterling Creatives where it was very, well, creative. They had a, a lot of different artists there as well as some demonstrations that were really cool. We'll definitely be visiting Sterling again. Sterling, Colorado was the best place for us to escape our busy lives and just roam freely.